Yeah, hi, CL. Well, this is a slightly unusual one because although today marked the end of the trial, those unanimous not guilty verdicts were actually delivered earlier this week. But we've not been able to report that until now because it's only now that the jury have been discharged because they were unable to reach decisions on the remaining counts. So they were sent home today, the jury was sent home, and it became clear that they just couldn't make any further progress. This afternoon, the judge thanked them for their work, telling them you have been true to your duty. So here we are after a trial that's lasted pretty much six months. The Manchester City player and former French international Benjamin Mendy, who at one time was the world's most expensive defender, has been found not guilty on six counts of rape and one of sexual assault. His friend and co-defendant, Louis Sahar Maturi, was found not guilty on three counts of rape. But both men still have outstanding charges against them, which they deny after that jury here uh, got stuck. And they'll now face new trials, separate trials, later this year. Here, the prosecution had argued that this was a case where the men had turned their pursuit of women into a game. The defence, though, said that this case had all the makings of a good drama, but with one plot twist, because the accused were innocent. So, Peter, have we heard from Benjamin Mendy today? Well, earlier this week, when those verdicts were returned, he stood in the dock, uh, had his hands on his face and was rocking backwards and forwards. Today, his lawyer said Benjamin Mendy is delighted that he's been acquitted. Uh, he wants to thank everyone who supported him and he looks forward to clearing his name on the remaining charges. So we heard from the lawyer, but not from him himself. He's going to have to wait a while, though, because that second trial, his trial, isn't due to happen until June. It'll be here and, of course, it'll have a new jury. As far as the club is concerned, Manchester City, well, he remains suspended by the club pending the outcome of all this uh, legal case and the club didn't have anything to add today. OK, Peter Lane from Chester Crown Court, thank you.